In this video, I'm going to teach you how to animate tracers in Blender. Here we are with the um, 109 I'm using. This is just a German uh, Messerschmitt 109. However, you can use this method for around TIE fighters, X-Wing fighters, anything that really shoots tracers. It'll work for that. This is a model that I actually created for the altercation. The altercation is a, just a movie that I made. And um, yeah, this is what I used. Anyway, uh, to get started, we're going to go ahead and make the tracer. And I'm just going to use Shift A on our mesh, just like a UV sphere. We're going to bring it up using G and Z. I'm not going to do too much with it. I'm just going to basically just scale it up a good amount. And then we'll go to materials and give it a new material. Make this an emission. Give it a nice yellow color here. Make this strength about an eight. I'm gonna go ahead and name this. Call this tracer. I'm gonna press M on the keyboard and select new collection. Hit OK. Now the tracer's in collection two. I'm gonna go ahead and uncheck the collection two. Make it invisible. Um, all right, let's go ahead and select Shift A and then select plane. This will be our bolt emitter. So we'll just type in, or oh, just tracer emitter would work. Tracer emitter. And um, we're going to scale it down a little bit and bring it up so you can see what we're doing. All right, so basically, um, we need to enable particle system because these tracers are particles. You could do this with just objects, it would just take forever. Of course, particles make things easy. So we're going to make this, make sure it's emitter. Um, bring the number down to something like 30 for now. Now we're going to press play, and you can see that we have these objects falling out of the plane. I'm going to scale the plane down a little bit so that we can have more of a single file here. That's more like it. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and tip the plane upward. So I'm going to go ahead and select R, then X, and 90. I'm going to go ahead and make this um, airplane apparent out of the tracer emitter. That way, when this thing moves, the, the emitter also goes with it. So I'm just going to uh, pick this up, hold down Shift, and put it over the 109, and then drop it in there. Now you can see that wherever the airplane goes, the uh, the tracer emitter or the plane goes with it. Now I'm going to go ahead and put this into position. So wherever your gun is, you just put it down there. So in this case, the 109 had at least one gun about right here. So that'll work. Then you just slide it in position. Maybe scale down a little more. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, all right, press play. You can see that we have gravity affecting it like a strong amount. And so what we're going to do right now is we're going to make this um, the field weights. So we're going to go ahead and make the gravity value a 0.1. And then press play again. We can see we have a, you know, like that. So to fix this problem, we need to give this gun more force. So let's go to velocity under normal. Just make this value super high. Like uh, for me, I used a 130. Yeah, so 130 meters per second worked pretty well for me. All right. Um, okay. So now we have uh, two guns, of course. This just depends on how many guns you want. I mean, it really doesn't matter. Now, it is important to um, select the two. Basically, what we did was when we copied this uh, this plane, whatever changes that we make to this plane will uh, affect this one also. We'll increase this number to 36, and we will make the, the velocity 140 meters per second. All I'm doing right here is just varying the bullets, so you can see they're not in unison anymore. Yeah, because it was going to look like, you know, two going at one time. Okay, now right now we need to go ahead and make these bullets that we're seeing here. The actual bullet, the tracer, as you see in the collection here. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and select the tracer emitter. And go down to render. Render as an object. The instance object is going to be the, um, the tracer. And then for the second emitter, we're just going to do the exact same thing. Go to render object and tracer okay all right there we go now we have um, both guns firing the exact same uh, bullet on this up here so that works okay looking pretty good so far um, really what's next is just to um, turn on motion blur and so this is important because you may be wondering why in the world these um, the tracer was a round shape right and you expect that it would be more of a cylinder and really the reason for um, it looking like a cylinder is obviously because of motion blur the actual rounds were something very similar to this, of course. Put motion blur on top of it, you get more of a cylinder shape. So if we render this right now, these little bolts are going to be just small little spheres. Now, of course, we don't want that, so we're going to make this um, motion blur. We're going to check it and give it a nice shutter speed of like 1, and that will ensure a good realistic shot. All right. Now, one more thing I did want to show you is the fact that wherever you point this airplane, 
the um, the particles will also shoot in that direction. This just means that no matter where you point your airplane, they'll always be shooting in the right direction, which is always good. If you feel like your bolts are too big, go ahead and just go to the collection here and go to tracer and just scale it way down. I would also recommend turning on denoising. This is an important setting because these um, these spheres are emissive, and because of that, you could run into some noise that could occur in your render. So. Yeah. All right. So if you guys have any questions about this, uh, just put it in the comments. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.